Hello, my lovelies. Welcome to my channel. Here we are uh, getting ready to kick off uh, the month of February, the month of love. Uh, so this reading is going to be for those of you guys that are currently in a situation or in a partnership, relationship, uh, connection, where you're not exactly sure exactly what is happening or where you're at in this connection. We're going to see exactly what is unfolding before you, as well as what the partner or person of your interest is currently dealing with. So as you guys can see here, we have one through four. I'm going to do these readings freehand. So what I mean by that is I feel that it's more organic um, when I do them at that point in time. And that's what we're doing. So we're not, we have nothing pre-shuffled, nothing. Um, I'm going to give you guys some time to tune in to uh, the numbers, see which one you're being pulled towards. And that's the message that we're going to be uh communicating for you guys okay so i'll give you guys a couple of minutes so that you guys can connect as you guys can see here we have set number one set number two set number three and set number four go ahead and tune in and see which one you're being pulled towards and we will go into it um momentarily All right, my lovelies, we're going to pull back two, three, and four. We're going to get right into it um, and see exactly where we're at. Uh, this is going to be for those of you guys that chose set number one. I'm going to put that to the side. Let's get to the nitty-gritty and see exactly what's going on, okay? So let's see. Spirits, please step forward and guide me in this reading. Help me see with clarity and insight. What are the messages for those that chose set number one? in regards to this connection or this relationship. Uh, what is unfolding before them? Please allow me to see clearly and concisely. What can they expect moving forward in this connection or this relationship for set number one? Okay. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. I hope that you guys are motivated and excited about what this new year is going to bring to all of you. All right, let's see what is unfolding in your connection or relationship for those that chose set number one. All right, so we're starting off already. We have the Ace of Swords, the Devil card, and the Two of Coins. Okay. All right, so I do see for some of you guys, uh, communication may not be as open or perhaps there has been a bit of misunderstanding, um, not being very straightforward. Uh, in regards to this connection. However, I do see communication coming through. You may be dealing with a Capricorn. You may also be dealing with air energy here, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Um, with the two of coins, there's been some type of instability in regards to this connection. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where uh, the individual or the person that is of your interest is currently going through a situation where there is a need to cut out some toxic people in their life or toxic traits. This could represent anything to do with like uh, sexual behavior. This could have a lot to do with, you know, alcoholism, drugs, anything like that. I feel that they're coming into an understanding of, of higher knowledge, higher purpose. Um, and, and I see them currently struggling or dealing with that. Now, we also have here the Nine of Swords. So I see you guys very anxious, uh, perhaps stressed because you feel like there's no stability or there hasn't been any stability. Um, if this is a new connection or someone that you're recently dealing with, I feel that it started off rather quick, uh, like you felt the connection very strongly, but it almost felt like it didn't really take flight. It didn't really get off the ground. And it could be because, again, it could have been a connection that was strong, and there was momentum behind it. But for some reason, things about the past started coming up. And I feel that this person is currently dealing with that. With the Nine of Swords, a lot of anxiety, a lot of stress. Uh, this could be a situation where uh, there is a bit of lack of clarity on their part. Um, now, what's crowning your energy here is the Ace of Coins. So you're definitely wanting to start 
uh, or wanting to build some type of commitment. You're, you're looking for something that is stable at this point. And with the Eight of Coins, I do feel that there is going to be a situation that is going to give you the opportunity to try to communicate clearly and concisely with what, we're, what we want. Where do we want to go moving forward? Um, putting effort and energy. And with the Eight of Cups, uh, sorry, the Eight of Pentacles here, I do feel that they're going to be uh, wanting or having the desire uh, to put more effort on their part as well. I just feel that they're a bit caught up right now with a lot of things that are going on behind the scenes. This could be dealing with family issues. Again, this could be having to do with some type of addiction, um, some type of imbalance uh, that they're currently dealing with. Now, the advice here is the Eight of Wands. So again, communication is going to be very important for you guys, for those of you guys that chose set number one. Uh, transparency in communication. So I feel that if there's certain things that are bothering you, in regards to this connection you have to be honest and not hold back because i feel that for some of you guys with the ace of swords as an obstacle it could be almost like the fear of being honest because you you fear their reaction or you fear how they may react to that um, but what they're telling you here is the eight of wands it there is a need for you uh to express what you're feeling or to express uh, what you've been suppressing there there's a high need for this and you have two eights here so again uh, momentum here now you have the star card and the star card is a representation of the energy currently influencing i feel that the astrological alignments right now are assisting or helping this connection right now uh, there is almost a feeling like they're having to deal with certain things about their past but this is a positive because I feel that they're clearing out that energy. With the star card, there's hope here. There's a desire. So they're seeing this connection or this relationship with hopefulness uh, that you're going to be able to fix or you're going to be able to get on the same page. Now we have the world card here. Yeah, so I feel that there's a lot of endings here in regards to this person. Uh, major, major progress in regards to commitment for you guys. I do see... Uh, things progressing for the better. Uh, if you're dealing with a situation where there isn't any communication or there hasn't been communication or communication has been blocked, again, the message is the same. I feel that they are working through something here. Uh, with the star card in the world, this could be massive transformation for them. It's like an ending cycle for them. And unfortunately, with ending cycles, oftentimes we have to deal with situations of things coming to surface that are connected to the past. This could be relationships. This could be ex-partners. Uh, this could just be uh, situations that need to be fixed now so that down the road it doesn't become an issue to this connection or to this relationship. Now, let's see, Spirit, um, <clears throat> what are the energies What are the energies of the partner or person of their interest for those that chose set number one? Where are they at mentally, Spirit? What is it that is on their mind at this present time? Oh, okay. So we have love is coming, yeah. So I feel that they are they definitely have you on their mind they're definitely interested in you uh if like i said if there's been a blockage of communication or uh almost a distancing and there is a feeling of was there even a connection what they're telling you here is yes um i feel that they are embracing or they're excited about this connection but i feel that they may be a little bit um checked out because they're currently going through uh going through having to deal with things from the past uh, to be able to move forward in a positive way. For some of you guys, it could be that you were dealing with the person that was committed or someone that was married or someone that was in a committed long-term relationship and there was a breakup or some type of separation. Um, and whether you were aware of it or not, uh, perhaps they felt like they were trying to put effort with the eight of wands but it just it didn't move forward the way they wanted to and then they met you or this connection happened and they're getting ready to let go of the past and be able to embrace a new beginning be able to change the page get on a different chapter begin a new chapter so love is coming is a representation of them being emotionally available it also speaks about taking the steps to get towards 
uh, where they want to be. Uh, and, and I'm hearing free. I'm hearing uh, wanting to uh, release themselves from past energy. So again, um, now, if you're dealing with a situation where the partner, um, your partner, uh, was in a committed relationship with you and there was uh, a feeling of wanting to fix the situation and now there's a feeling of uh, it, it has you know gone stale or it, you haven't been able to really move forward uh, it could represent that the person that you're dealing with may have started something already with someone else um, and they were trying to put effort in seeing if it was worth fixing this relationship but with the world card here and the star card, uh, it's time to start a new chapter. There's a new beginning. And again, love is coming. So I feel that uh, for some of you guys that are connecting to this, but you on the other on the other uh, spectrum are dealing with a committed relationship and this person is no longer communicating with you or perhaps not coming around as often, it could represent uh, that they themselves are starting a new connection or that they've met someone and they're trying to embrace this new beginning. Now, let's see. Let's see where you're at right now, spirit. What is the message? What is the energy that those that chose set number one need to embrace? Okay, we're going to keep shuffling. Okay, what is the energy? Oh. Okay, so we have two here. Oh, we have three. All right, I'm going to take these as they are. Oh, wow, four, not three. So we have past returns. Uh, this is, again, if you were dealing with a situation where you felt like um, they put a stop to it or there hasn't been any communication, uh, perhaps the next lover or past life relationship is coming towards you. We have mask is on. Things are not what they seem. Um, we have twin flames and secret love hidden love, meeting in secret. So again, I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where perhaps um, they didn't even tell you that they were trying to put effort or trying to fix something from the past. They came to the realization that it's not worth pursuing and they're putting their attention or they're coming towards you to try to kind of pick up where things left off. Um, for others of you, it could just uh, represent here there is a situation where for some of you guys you may be dealing with a new person and this new person um, again things didn't take flight or didn't move as quickly as you would want and it shows that for some of you guys you're entertaining the past uh, but with the mask is on there's certain things that are being kept in the hidden so it could be that the person that you're dealing with was entertaining the idea or trying to deal with someone from their past um, but I do see that that's not working out and there is probability of them coming back and trying to start off this connection now with secret love I feel that for some of you guys you're going to be um, hearing news or finding out about someone that is interested in you that may be around you but unbeknownst to you you weren't aware of their intentions or their feelings towards you so I feel that for some of you guys uh, you may be getting news in regards to someone having feelings towards you, and it may be someone that is around you already, okay? All right, so let's get into set number two. Let's see what is going on there. Okay, so Spirit Guides, what are the messages for those that show set number two? What is unfolding before them? What are the messages that you have in regards to this connection? or this relationship, what can they expect, what is coming towards them, what new opportunities, what will manifest for them in this connection or in this relationship. That's where it gets, what are the messages for those that chose set number two? Okay, one more. Okay. All right, so your first card here is the three of swords. Okay, so we're starting off very heavy here. I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a situation where there is some type of betrayal, some type of hurt. Um, I feel that for some of you guys, you're still healing from this connection or trying to heal from this connection. Uh, the next card here is the seven of swords. So those of you guys that chose set number two, if you feel like there is... If you feel like things haven't been the way they were at some point um, 
and you're being pulled towards like wondering or questioning where you're at at this point with this person, I feel that they're not being completely honest with you. They're being deceitful uh, with the seven of swords as an obstacle to overcome. You need to be honest with yourself. Now, if you're dealing with a situation where they have continuously let you down or made you feel like they betrayed your trust, it's time for you to see clearly and concisely. Stop making excuses for their behavior because there's something in this connection that you're refusing either to see or you're ignoring. Like you're aware of it, but you're trying so fixated on overcoming those obstacles and you cannot overcome something that is active or unfolding if you refuse to see that, if you refuse to give validation to the lesson that they're trying to give to you. Now in the past, in pa yeah, so there is definitely a third party situation here. Um, with the five of coins, somebody walked away from this connection. This could have been you or this could have been your partner. And there is definitely a third party involved. We have three, two threes. Uh, the three of coins usually does indicate when it comes to love and romance, a third party type of energy with the three of swords. You're aware of this. You have acknowledged or it was you the one that was left. Um, it is a general reading. It could have been you that walked away. Uh, but there is definitely uh, secrets. There, there are things that are being hidden in the past, uh, sorry, in the background, um, and they're not being honest. Now, with the page of coins, you're hoping to hear from them or you're wanting to hear from them. But you have the moon here. And the moon is, this is the root of the issue. So with the moon, there are a lot of things that you, and these are red flags. They're showing me red flags. So it's almost like for some of you guys from the very beginning of this relationship, you've seen things that were inconsistent or you've seen red flags and you ignored them or you tried to ignore them. With the moon card, there's a lot of things on a subconscious level and that could be the reason why you continuously keep dealing with this type of energy. Uh, it could have a lot to do with your subconscious. It could have a lot to do with what you consider love. Um, and this is almost like that situation where people often ask, you know, uh, of course, I don't want to deal with hurt. Um, and then you ask them, well, you know, when you have suitors or when you have other people that are interested in you, why do you have a tendency of going for specific individuals, those that are very intense, those that start off, you know, freaking hot, but everything that starts off very quick, hot and heavy, usually crashes and burns very quick. And oftentimes it's like I've heard many clients say, uh, well, Jessica, the truth of the matter is, you know, I can't date someone that's normal because then it gets boring. Um, then I lose interest. That has more to do with you than the people that you actually choose. And the reason for that is because, again, it has a lot to do with what you consider love. You know, when it comes to our childhood, when it comes to what we went through as children, how were we taught love was? And we usually correlate or connect that with how our parents treated us. Um, and that's oftentimes what you find yourself chasing. So as an example, a child that was never given emotional support, your, your partner, uh, sorry, your parent, father or mother could have given you everything material wise but if they weren't emotional if there was no connection there you're always going to feel like you're chasing people that are emotionally unavailable to you because it's almost like you have to prove to yourself um and again with the moon they're not being honest they're not being straightforward and this is what pulls you this is what draws you in the mystery the i'm going to get to know this person i know that they're not being you know completely transparent and that's what intrigues me and that's why I'm trying to chase them and get to know them better I know I'll be able to get to the point of opening them up truth of the matter is you can tell yourself that many times but how how much more do you have to keep taking how many more betrayals do you have to keep putting up in order to get it some people are honest with you when they tell you they don't want a relationship some people are straightforward when they tell you, I don't have feelings for you, and you try to convince yourself, or you're connected to the challenge, and that's what excites you, oh, I'm going to prove myself, or I'm going to prove to them that I can make them love me. So I feel that type of energy here, and there's a lot of things that you need to work on. There's a lot of healing that needs to happen. 
why do you keep chasing these type of connections? I feel like this person is not honest with you. And I feel like you've been aware of that. But there's been some type of denying or some type of excusing. Now, the advice here is the three of wands. It's time for you to progress. It's time for you to learn from your past uh, relationships, past mistakes, past experiences. You need to move on. You need to uh, look towards a better future with a healthier partner or a relationship that is healthy. You have the king of swords here, and this is the energy that is currently influencing you. Uh, king of swords, there is a need for you to be completely honest with yourself. There's a need for you to remove those fantasies or those glasses, those, you know, uh, pink glasses, um, I should say black glasses because you're refusing to see, and to see things clearly and concisely as they are. It, it's about, it's about accepting the person, like if you want to continuously keep dealing with this situation, that's fine to each their own, right? But what they're telling you here is either you accept them as they are, or you walk away from this connection because you think that you can change this person. But what they're telling you here with the King of Swords, you need to look at things in an analytical way. You need to remove your emotions and see things with a clear head, with a clear mind. Now your next card here is the Nine of Wands. When do you get to the point of saying enough is enough? When do you get to the point of saying I'm no longer going to deal with this nonsense? The Nine of Wands is getting to the point of exhaustion. This is you've gone to war and back and there is a need to regroup. There is a need to protect your energy. You're literally holding on to a thread. And this is the threat, could be the idea, the fantasy, the hopefulness. Uh, but with the Nine of Wands and the King of Swords, you need to see things for what they really are. And you have the King, sorry, the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords does indicate this could be you. This could be a relationship that recently ended. Uh, somebody walked away from this connection and there's another one that's looking. They're looking at their social media. So they're trying to see if they've moved on. This could be you or this could be your partner. It is a general reading. But like I said, the message is the same here. Let's see what... It's very guys. What is the energy? What is the energy of the partner? For those that chose set number two, where are they at mentally and emotionally? Where are they at mentally or emotionally, spirits? All right, so we have wedding vows. I feel that I feel that this person has sold you the idea. Or they've gotten to know you so good that they know exactly what to tell you to lure you back. It's like they could be a sweet talker. It could be a person that is very good at manipulating certain situations. Even when there's confrontations, it's like they always turn it around and get it to the point of making you feel like you were at wrong. Wedding bells is a representation of the desire to manifest commitment. But I feel this card in reverse. So in reverse, it would represent a person that is trying to sell you the idea of some type of commitment, although you keep dealing with inconsistent energy. You keep dealing with them stepping out of the relationship. You keep dealing with uh, them dealing with multiple people. We have addictions and past life. So it could be a situation where you're dealing with the person that perhaps uh, in their previous life, there was a lot of karmic, uh, a lot of karmic energy that they brought into this lifetime. And there are certain toxic behaviors that they need to either overcome or they need to heal from. And one of them, when we speak about addictions, it doesn't necessarily mean alcoholism and drugs, although they may be dealing with that. Um, it could also represent sex addiction. It could represent dealing with an individual that from a very child uh, energy, meaning from childhood, um, they were exposed to certain type of sexual behaviors uh, that it was so engraved in their mind that they need to heal from that. Uh, and they're refusing. 
And it's almost like a behavior that they continuously keep doing. And you may also be aware of that. And that could be a situation where you're like, you know, well, that's why, Pinky, that's why I deal with it. Because she's so hurt. Because he's so hurt. They've gone through so much. You know, they they went through a lot as children. Um, and, and I want to be there and I want to heal them and I want to support them. That's fine. But you can't push someone to heal. They have to want to heal themselves. You cannot heal for anyone. They have to heal that. And you cannot change someone. They have to want that change. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is if you're dealing with this type of energy, the best thing for you at this point in time is to protect your energy, to pull away from this, to pull away from this connection, to allow this individual, if there is genuine love for you there, they will want to become a better woman or a better man for you. And if they don't, then they're just not going to make that change. We are creatures of habit and change is something that does not come easy for anyone, but only those that want it bad enough. And I feel that this connection is something that you're going to continuously keep dealing with this type of energy if you continuously keep forgiving this person or giving them the opportunity to continuously keep coming into your life. All right. All right, my lovelies. Let's go to set number three. Oh, my goodness. I was doing some spell work the other day. And I accidentally cracked my nail. And that hurt like a mother, let me tell you. <clears throat> and I just haven't had time to go, like, go see my nail technician. Anyways, let's get into your reading set number three. Okay, spirit guides, what are the messages for those that chose set number three? What is unfolding in this connection, in this partnership? What can they expect? What is going on with this connection? Where is this connection going or this relationship? What can they expect? What is unfolding before them, spirits? Those that chose set number three, please give them clarity and insight. Relationships are never easy, you guys. And here's the thing. What you need to understand when we're talking about relationships and partnerships, you have to understand that it's two individuals. Oftentimes I always hear like, oh, you know, two become one. It's like, yeah, metaphorically speaking. But when we're talking about, and as well energetically, but if the person is not on the same wavelength as you, that is literally impossible. And you need to understand that when we're talking about partnerships and relationships, it is two individuals coming together, joining, right? Joining your world and they joining or bringing in their world. And you need to understand that it's two different individuals. When you start to lose your individuality in a relationship, that's when we have issues. That's when we have resentments. That's when we have, well, you don't let me breathe. Well, you don't let me do this. You don't let me do that. Love is not restriction, you guys. Love is freedom. A lot of people don't get that. <laughs> All right, spirit guides, what are the messages for those that chose set number three? What is unfolding before them in this connection or in this relationship? Okay, let's get into it. Now, your first card here is the high priestess. Okay. Whew. You may be dealing with a person that is very intuitive, very spiritual, or you yourself may be very intuitive and very spiritual. This is about receiving messages. I feel that for a lot of you guys, what they're saying here is there's a lot of there's a lot of spiritual downloads that are happening right now. So this could be you. Uh, this could be you experiencing very lucid dreams. This could be you uh, receiving messages. Um, this is a for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a spiritual connection here. Now, your next card here is, wow, the Judgment card. Okay. With the High Priestess and the Judgment card. I feel that for some of you guys, you are most definitely dealing with some type of spiritual connection here. I feel that it goes deeper than just, you know, an average relationship. This could be soul ties. This could be karmic. This could be a soulmate. Um, the Judgment card as an obstacle is the getting to the point of knowing that there is some type of connection, some type of deep 
knowing deep connection in this relationship but someone is resisting either someone is not prepared to ascend or someone is not ready for this type of commitment although i feel that they're aware of this connection so what i'm sensing here is for some of you guys those of you guys that chose set number three i feel that you could have met this person under very weird circumstances it could have been like you bumped into each other at a store it could have been that you were introduced uh very you know very like you weren't expecting the the entrance of this person into your life and i feel that it was the cosmos i feel that it was it was in coincidence is what they're saying it wasn't coincidence it was fate is involved here for those of you guys that chose this set um, but I feel that there was someone that was shaken to the core in regards to this connection. It could have been that they felt a very deep connection the moment they laid eyes on you. It could have been that you felt a very strong connection, very deep connection. Um, and someone is scared out of their mind in this connection. Now we have the Ace of Wands. <laughs> That's the exact energy I was sensing you guys. Like, the moment you guys met, it was electrical. Like, I I literally feel like electricity running through my body. It, it was an a, understanding or all-knowing that this wasn't a coincidence. But someone's scared here. Someone is, I don't want to say doubting, but it's like they're not ready. And we have the hanged man, and that's exactly what I'm sensing. The Ace of Wands is always a new beginning. It's passion. It's intensity. It's a physical connection. It could have been that they seen you, they laid eyes on you, and you were like, this is going to be my man. This is going to be my woman type of energy. With the hanged man, there are unresolved things in this person's life that they feel at this point in time, they're just not ready for that type of commitment or they're not ready for that type of connection. There is... It's almost like they're trying to test their fate. They're trying to test destiny. Like, we'll see. We'll see what comes from this. We'll see if it's meant to be or not. They're just not ready. But it doesn't mean that there could be any type of resistance, right? What's meant for you is for you, and it will come to you. I, I feel that very heavily here, very strongly. We have the Justice card. You have Major Arcanas, you guys. So those of you guys that chose set number three, I can tell you off the bat, this is a spiritual connection. This could be destiny and the universe at play right now. Um, you may be dealing with the Libra. You may be dealing with the Sagittarius, Leo, Aries type of energy. Uh, you may be dealing with uh, Pisces type of energy. You may be dealing with um, a person that is very, there is someone in this connection that is very spiritual. That's like, a for sure thing we have the eight of cups so someone walked away from this connection someone's trying to resist this connection it could be because there's a feeling of i'm not ready and i don't feel in the sense of like ego is at play here if anything i feel that their ego is a bit hurt because they feel like either you're unreachable they see you as grand they see you as you have all your shit together they see you as you have more to give than they do so i feel that in some way they want to embrace this energy but they just feel like they're not ready they feel like they're not prepared for what you deserve in their mind what they know you deserve so it's not that they're not sure about you. It's not that they're not sure about what they feel. It's about that they're scared because I have so much, like you make me feel so much. And from what they know about you, they feel like you deserve more or they're not ready to give you more. Um, with the Eight of Cups, they're walking away. But I don't feel that they're walking away from the connection. They're walking away from the situation with the hanged man because they feel they need time. Because they feel like they need to resolve certain things. We have the Emperor card here. Yeah, very strong. Um, 
it could be that you are the feminine energy and they are the masculine energy uh the emperor card is all about don't doubt yourself in this connection don't allow your mind to take over you be empowered know your worth and don't sit there and say okay i'm gonna wait for this person because that's not what they're telling you at all what they're telling you here with the justice card with the emperor card with the high priestess know your worth know what you deserve and do not settle for that keep it pushing if they're not ready that's okay it's not for you to decide you keep it pushing you keep working on yourself you keep working on your business you keep working on making your money you keep working on yourself love yourself the emperor is all about i know when i need to take action if you've taken action in this connection and they haven't reciprocated that that's fine take your energy back take your power back do not dwell in this because like i said when we're talking about major arcanas this is not everyday type of thing these are transformative energies that are unfolding that you may feel like right now with the hanged man things are not progressing they're not moving forward oh my god oh my god what do i do they're telling you take a chill pill take it back to where it was before that person came into your life work on you work on yourself everything else is going to happen when it's supposed to happen because when we're talking about destiny and fate what is for you is going to be for you and it will come to you. Do you see what I'm saying? King of Wands. Very, very masculine energy here with the Emperor and the King of Wands. Uh, this is fire energy, Aquarius, uh, sorry, not Aquarius. Um, you may be dealing with air energy, uh, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Libra's present. Uh, you may also be dealing with Aries, Leo, uh, Sagittarius type of energy here with the King of Wands and the Emperor, very masculine energy, very aggressive energy. It could have been that you felt when you met this person, this person was straightforward. They were like literally chasing you. You felt like so the connection was like, whoa, she wants me or whoa, he wants me. Uh, and then out of nowhere and out of the blue, like things slow down and you're like, what the hell happened with the with the hanged man? But again, they're aggressive in nature. They will pursue you. They will come back. They will, when they're ready, they will come back into your life. But it is your duty and your job at this present time to work on yourself. And we have the five of cups. Yeah. I see you guys very emotional, very much in your mind, doubting, you know, wondering, will this ever happen? Um, was I delusional in thinking that there was some type of connection? No, there is a connection here. Like I said, it's a very strong spiritual connection. Um, this could be a soulmate. This could be a person that is coming in that they cannot deny the connection they have with you. However, if they're not ready or if you're the one that's not ready for you guys to come together to align, they have to work on themselves or you have to work on yourself to be able to align yourself to be able to come together. And what they're telling you, it's not about sitting there and waiting for them. It's about you focusing on you and putting your energy and taking your power back and doing what you've been doing up until the moment you met them. And you will see that things will unfold, whether they're ready, whether you're ready or not. Major Arcanas, it's not everyday mundane energy. This is celestial energy. This is the universe conspiring, allowing them to see or experience what they have to see and experience on their own in order to be able to align themselves to come towards you, to come towards you in a positive or to come towards you and in a stable way. And we have the Empress card here, you guys. Spiritual connection. This is your equal. Whenever we get court cards that are of the same suit, that is a soul type. There is a soulmate there is a, it could be karmic as well, it could be, but the court cards are still growing. The emperor and empress, you've got to the culmination of connecting with spirit. You are vibrating to a very high energy. The emperor and empress is the relationship, the equals. 
the yin and the yang, the female and masculine energy. This is your equal. This is the person that is your match. This is the person that uh, is going to bring to you or is going to come into your life and transform your life. This is a lifetime partner. So again, this is your equal is what they're telling you. If you feel like things are not progressing, if you feel like they've, you know, you hit a wall, things are not moving forward, do not stress, do not worry, do not be scared. Do not vibrate from fear. Vibrate from the all-knowing. Taking your power back, focusing on yourself, loving yourself, keep working in your confidence, in what you're doing in every single aspect of your life, not just love. They will come towards you when they're ready or you will go towards them when you're prepared. Right here with the Empress, you may be dealing with some type of earth energy as well. You may be dealing with uh, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Empress is a representation of Libra, but in this deck, uh, the horns are very connected to earth element here. Um, and again, the Emperor could be fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, um, Aries, doesn't have to be their sun sign, it could be their moon sign, but this is the energy that they're taking on, and this is the energy that you're taking on. So again, very beautiful, and I knew, knew it off the bat when I seen the high priest here and the judgment card. Okay, let's see, spirits... Please give me a clear indication of where they're at mentally, where the partner or person of interest for those that chose set number three, where are they at mentally? Where are they at mentally? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. We flipped back, so we're going to keep shuffling. Where are they at mentally, spirit guides? Where are they at mentally? What is it that they're currently working through? What is it they're at? What is it that they're currently working through? Control. Feeling trapped, lost of self-respect. So it could be that your person or the person that you're currently dealing with is, uh, is currently going through a situation where they feel like they're being controlled. Um, this could be unresolved issues from the past. This could be them dealing with a past relationship, past lover that was very toxic. Uh, it could be that they're still tied or still uh, emotionally invested in someone from the past. Um, as you can see here, it's like they're tied. They're trying to free themselves. It could be that they're still currently trying to work through uh a certain ending or a certain situation where they feel like they can't really free themselves yet um, and that that could be the issue that could be the reason why uh, they're not really moving forward at this present time spirits please show me what those who chose set number three should currently be working on what is it that they need to acknowledge or try to work through at this present time Yeah, I feel very heavily like those of you guys that chose set number three, uh, your person is currently dealing with the situation where they feel tied. They feel like um, they feel like they're restricted. They feel like they're not in control of their person. And it could be because you could see chains here. This could be uh, towards a past relationship, but you can also see the sun in the background. So for some, it could be a situation where they feel like um, they're still trying to resolve certain issues from a past relationship because children could be involved here. Um, things that are out of our control that we still need to take certain steps in a methodical way for the best of interest of other people. So I feel like for some, it could be having to do with children. It could be dealing with an ex-partner, uh, baby dad, baby mom type of energy. Um, and that's where they're at right now. Now, where you're at right now is a secret love, hidden love, meaning in secret. So it could be a situation where um, for some of you guys, you were aware that this person was involved. Um, 
for others of you, it could be a representation of you weren't aware that they were still dealing with a person from the past and that could have been revealed to you with secret love here. Um, but I feel that this is more to do with how you guys are feeling right now. I feel that you guys are very spiritually connected and it could be that you're sensing or feeling their energy. It could be that they will sporadically pop in your head and you feel this strong urge to want to hear from them and it could be that they're feeling the same way. Um, especially if this person is still dealing with past a past relationship. It could be that they're trying to free themselves from that connection but secretly they're loving you from a distance or they're missing you from a distance. Um, so I feel that for some of you guys, that could be the reason uh, why things haven't progressed as quickly as you would want. However, um, I am seeing that these are things that need to be resolved on both spectrums. So this could be something that, again, what they're telling me here for you guys is to focus on yourselves, to put energy on you, to work on you. Now, if this is you that is dealing with this situation where you're still trying to resolve something from the past, if you are dealing with a situation where you met someone and the connection is extremely uh, powerful, it's very strong, and you feel this deep within connection of almost knowing, um, there are things that you need to learn to let go of. Uh, and the past is one, or uh, that of feeling trapped or feeling like um, you can move forward out of fear or out of because you've been in this relationship for so long, what they're telling you is that there is a need for you to resolve that and to let go to be able to embrace a new beginning. Okay? All right, my lovelies, let's get on. We are going to go to set number four now. Allow us to see clearly and concisely what is unfolding for those that chose set number four in regards to this connection or this relationship. What can they expect? What is unfolding or moving towards them? What new opportunities? Where is this connection or relationship going? Spirits, what are the messages for those that chose set number four? What is unfolding? What is coming from this connection or relationship? What is unfolding before them? Spirits, what are the messages? What are the messages for those that chose set number four? Okay. One more. And messages for those that chose. Okay. All right, my lovelies. Those of you guys that chose set number four, we have the chariot card. Quick movement. Um, a lot of advancement coming towards you. We have the page of swords. You may be dealing with cancer energy or you may be a cancer yourself. Uh, page of Swords as an obstacle to overcome could represent um, not being very straightforward when it comes to communication. It could be that you feel restricted or you hold back in regards to speaking your truth. With the Ace of Wands, a uh, very passionate connection here, Six of Cups. All right, so I feel that for some of you guys, you may be dealing with a person that has children or you may have children with this person. Um, there is almost like a hopefulness or a wanting to spark passion. It could have been that you guys kind of grown comfortable in this connection. Uh, the two of swords being restricted, not knowing what to do, the hermit. Okay, so I feel that for some of you guys, there is a situation where uh, in the present, um, communication may not actually be active. It could have been a situation where someone was blocked here with the two of swords. Uh, the Hermit card being very in retrospect, really going within, internalizing or trying to figure out exactly what's going on. There is a lack of clarity here in this connection. Uh, with the Six of Cups, however, I do see them returning. I do see them coming back around. I do see communication. Yeah, definitely with the Ace of Cups here. So there's an offering that's coming towards you. The advice in this situation at the present time, you have two Aces. So I feel that for some of you guys, if you're not currently communicating or not in communication with the partner, there could have been some type of blockage. Um, it could be like physical, they physically blocked you uh, or you're not able to see their social medias or anything like that. Um, I do see them coming back around and trying to make communication, trying to communicate with you. 
with the ace of wands and ace of cups i feel that there is a rekindling of this connection or of this relationship whether there was like a temporary break some type of separation i do see you guys coming back together or trying to speak about you know coming back together trying to rekindle this connection uh the knight of wands speaks about them coming towards you with an offering of love but i feel that for some of you guys it could be almost a situation where you feel like all they want is a physical connection like sex basically um it could be that they've they have a tendency of, of doing this like it's a habit it's no longer something that is new but it often happens where there's a separation or a breakup but they want to continue having the fruits of what it is to be in a relationship with you um i do feel that they're telling you here you need to stand your ground you need to be strong and you need to be strong headed just like they are i feel that it's usually you the one that submits to them whether it's to their desires or whether it's to accept them and embrace them the moment they come back around. What they're telling you here is that you need to love yourself. You need to make yourself a priority and expect them to make you a priority. And if they cannot do that, then it's time for you to give them ultimatums. Okay. The Knight of Wands is uh, a very impulsive type of energy. And I feel that <clears throat> just as quickly as they come in, they go out. Um, Yes, there is love here. However, uh, it has more to do with a physical connection um, that you guys are currently dealing with. Yeah, you have to be completely honest with yourself in regards to this connection. Uh, you may be dealing with a fire energy. I see water energy here, air energy here. Um, and what they're saying here is, again, there is a need for clarity. There is a need to speak your truth, to be completely honest and transparent with them. Uh, if they have a tendency of like breaking up or blocking you, they do their own thing and then they come back and try to rekindle. Um, but it's like you guys are quickly to jump into bed. This needs to end because it's almost like an, a never ending cycle with the ace of swords. There's a need for you to be strong. There's a need for you to stand your ground and speak your truth. Do not hold back out of fear that they're going to pull away because if you need to hold your breath, or you need to hold what you need to speak because you don't want them to pull away, then perhaps they shouldn't be there in the first place. Uh, never bite your tongue, especially when it comes to the point of feeling like this is a habit or this is something that they continuously keep doing. You have to be honest with yourself. It's time for you to wake up. It's time for you to look at things the way they are. Um, don't use this. What I'm hearing is <clears throat> he keeps coming back. Uh, if he keeps coming back, it's meant to be. No, it's not. Not all the time. Maybe in your situation, if he's coming back, it's because you keep allowing him or allowing her to come back. When you start to put restrictions, when you start to put conditions, if they're not going to submit, um, and not in a negative way, but in the sense of if they're not going to embrace your love in a positive way and prove to you, and, and they feel that by you opening up, or being honest that you're offending them, then this is a person that is not willing to meet you halfway. It's all about me, me, me. And it shouldn't be that way. So it's time for you to start putting conditions. Yeah, three of coins. This could be an individual or an energy where you feel like uh, this person entertains other people. It could be vice versa, you guys. It's a general reading. But if you feel like when things are going good in this relationship, you're extremely loyal, and then the moment that things start to go haywire, you start to entertain other people. Why are you embracing them every time they come back around? Is it because you genuinely love them or is it because you convinced yourself that you love them, but in reality, you're just comfortable? And it's almost like that situation where you ask someone, why do you keep putting up with it? Uh, and their reasoning is, well, you know, if they're a cheater, they're a cheater. But at least I know that than to start dealing with someone new and not know what they're capable of doing. You know what I'm saying? Comfortability is not a good thing. Um, and it doesn't mean that that's love. It just means that you could be comfortable. It could be that you care for the person. It could be that you're confused about your emotions here with the two of swords, not wanting to see things clearly, not wanting to be honest with yourself because you're comfortable or because you've been with this person for a very long time that you don't want to start all over, but in reality, you're wasting your time because this relationship is not going anywhere. Do you see what I'm saying? So what they're telling you here is, again, 
yes, they will come back around and they will try to uh, tell you that they're willing to work it out. But the moment you start putting conditions, how likely is it for them to stick around? With the Knight of Wands, not very likely. So again, it's about putting conditions, not in a negative way, not to make them submit to you, but in the sense of at least allowing them to come halfway, to see if they can meet you halfway, to see if they're willing to invest or put the same energy that you have. And if they don't, or if they don't want to, then why waste your time there? Why waste your years to this person that is not committing the way you are or the way you're willing to? The three of coins here, often dealing with multiple people. Six of Cups, they keep dealing with other people. It doesn't pan out and they keep coming back to you. They keep coming to the past or you keep embracing the past. How can you start something new? Ace of Wands and Ace of Cups, an opportunity for love, an opportunity to find true love. Your passion's being ignited, but how can you embrace that when you're over here focusing on, on the past? Impossible. Impossible. Now, let's see what Spirit's message is. Spirit, please show me where this partner is mentally at this present time. What is it that they're thinking in regards to this connection, or what is it that they're currently working through? Spirit, for those that chose set number four, please show me the target or partner where they're at mentally, what they're currently working through. Yeah, I mean, why do you, you know, this is something that oftentimes, you know, I ask clients, you know, you've gone through hell and back with this person. Why do you keep, why do you keep allowing them to come back into your life? And a lot of the times it's, it's not even like the first thing is not love. Most of the time it's because, well, I've been with them for so long. You know, I have something to prove or I want to prove to those that doubt it, you know, and, and at the end of the day, you're not proving to anyone. If anything, you know, people are, and I've always said this, don't give a shit what people think. At the end of the day, it doesn't matter what others think. But it, you're not proving anything. If you're dealing with cheating or you're dealing with per people that are inconsistent, you're not proving anything. All you're proving is that, or all you're showing basically is that this person is your weakness. And if you've given this opportunity or this relationship an opportunity once or twice and they still can't get it together, chances of them getting it together the next ninth or tenth time is less than the first time. Where are they at mentally? What is it that they're currently working through? Cupid, yeah, this is a, this is a person that is very flirtatious. This is a person that cannot help themselves for dear life. Uh, this is a person that is often on the pursuit of chasing love or the, it, it ignites them, it, it, it excites them, the chasing, the attaining, uh, and then the moment that they either have it or they are being reciprocated they quickly move on to the next or they quickly uh, start to look for someone else to chase. Uh, this is, uh, I feel that this person doesn't even try to hide how they are. It could be a type of person that often flirts in front of you or it could be a bit disrespectful. Um, but I feel that they are like in their head. It's like, I've never hit, I've never hit this from you. Like, this is who I am. Like, <clears throat> That's where they're at right now. That's, and it could be that they know or that they feel that you are, you know, that they are weak to you, that they, you know, uh, that they have some type of lure when it comes to gaining your trust, when it comes to convincing you of something, when it comes to, uh, you know, convincing you that they're going to do it right this time. Uh, that type of energy. 
Now take my hand also came out. I like I said, I feel that this person knows you very well or they know your weakness and they know how to work that against you. Um, almost to help them out or to allow them to keep coming back into your life. Spirit, please show me those that chose set number four. What is it that they currently need to work through? What is it that they currently need to work through? Or what is it that they need to embrace? What is it that they need to work through? Or what is it that they need to embrace? Spirits, please show me those that chose set number four. What is it that they currently need to work through or they need to embrace? Rewrite your love story. Opportunities to reconcile love. I feel that this is the need to flip the page. It's time to rewrite. It's time to give yourself the opportunity to find your happiness and not be fixated on a person that is not consistent. Not focus your energy on someone that continuously keeps letting you down. Um, having the power or the knowledge to say, you know what, enough is enough. You've given everything you possibly can in this relationship, in this connection. Yes, there is an opportunity to reconcile, but like I said, if you don't start to set conditions or if you don't start to set, I don't want to say rules, but like what you're not going to be settling with anymore is necessary. Because if you don't, you're going to continuously keep going in cycles in this connection and you're never going to see some type of stability. And if you're to the point where you feel like they've pushed you to your limit, enough is enough. It is up to you. The happiness that you feel you deserve. Because that's why we settle. We settle when we feel like, well... It is what it is, or I don't deserve better, or this is what I deserve. And I'm not talking about on a conscious level. I'm talking about on a subconscious level. And what they're telling you here is it is up to you, the type of happiness that you get. And if you feel like this connection hasn't brought you peace, hasn't brought you harmony, hasn't brought you happiness, it's time for you to embrace a new beginning. Give yourself the opportunity of making or finding yourself happy. Don't be scared of that. Because if you spent the last four or five years in this connection and it hasn't, you know, it hasn't stabilized, are you ready to waste another four years? Are you willing to wait another four years for this person to get their act straight? Or to grow out of the immaturity stage. Because honey, let me tell you. You could be 50 and still be immature. I have clients <laughs> that are 50 and are still chasing. You know what I mean? Like that's just who they are. You can't. If that's who you are, either you put in the work to heal from that. Or you don't. And most of the time, people don't. So again, it's about knowing your worth. It's about knowing what you deserve. And knowing that you don't deserve someone that is going to give you half-ass anything. All right, my lovelies. I hope that these readings help you. I hope they give you clarity and insight. I hope you guys enjoy. Definitely comment below. Let me know. Um... If you guys connect with this, if you enjoy these readings, so we can continue doing these readings for you guys. I want to wish you guys the best as always. Happy Valentine's for those of you guys that celebrate. I wish nothing but happiness and love for all of you. And we'll see each other soon. Bye.